Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you 10 tips that will help you pass your CDL road test. Tip number one, you have to know your pre-trip inspection very well. The more confident and clear that you sound while you're doing your pre-trip, the less likely it is that your examiner is going to ask you a whole bunch of questions that are going to make you nervous and slow down your pre-trip inspection portion of the test. The better you know it, the better you are at saying it, the faster you will get through it. A lot of road tests now have time limits, and you don't want to eat up all of your time on your road test doing your pre-trip inspection. Tip number two. This may seem like a no-brainer, but a lot of us get complacent and we don't realize that we do it. Keep both hands on the steering wheel at all times. You don't want to accidentally forget and take your hands off the steering wheel while you're taking your road test, and then all of a sudden you're losing points. Tip number three. Ask your examiner questions. If you're not sure of something, just ask. If they ask you to do something and you don't know what it is they're asking, ask them to rephrase it. You don't want to fail your road test because of a simple misunderstanding. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Tip number four is for manual transmission vehicles. When you're starting up in an intersection, you want to make sure that you start out in the proper gear. While you're going through the intersection, you never want to change gears while you're going through the intersection. And also, when you're going over railroad tracks, never shift gears while you're doing that. If you are approaching a downgrade or a downhill, you want to make sure you downshift to the proper gear before you start going down the hill. Tip number five, don't go to your road test in a vehicle that you're unfamiliar with. If for some reason the vehicle you've been training on is broken down, reschedule your road test. Wait for that vehicle to get fixed so when you go take your road test, you take it on a vehicle that you're familiar with. Tip number six, you need to know your street signs and you need to know how they affect the vehicle that you're taking on your road test. Um, overhead clearance, going under overpasses, tunnels and bridges, uh, weight limits on roads and going over bridges. You need to know how tall your vehicle is so you know what your clearance has to be. You need to know how much the vehicle you're taking on your road test weighs. So you can say this information and call it out on your road test because you're going to have to call out these signs. You're going to have to tell the examiner how they relate to the vehicle you're driving and whether or not it's safe to go over a bridge or under a tunnel. Tip number seven, practice talking and driving so you get better at it. On your road test, you're not going to be driving and being quiet. You're going to be doing a lot of talking and you're going to have to call out hazards, street signs. Uh, traffic lights, everything you see, you're going to be calling out. And if you're not calling things out, the examiner is going to be asking you a lot of questions. Did you see that pedestrian? Did you know what color the traffic light is? Do you know what the speed limit is? And when they start asking you questions, you're going to get really nervous because it's going to put you on the edge. So you want to get better at talking while you're driving. And a good way to do this is to just take a drive in your personal car and talk while you're driving. Tip number eight. Do not suck up to your examiner. They're used to that. They find it annoying. Try to impress them with your skills and your knowledge, not with how sociable you can be, because they don't care about that. They want to make sure that you can handle the vehicle and you know the things that you need to know. So just stay professional, do exactly what they tell you, and don't try to suck up to them. Tip number nine. It may seem like a minor detail, but make sure you go to the bathroom before you take your road test. You don't want to be in the middle of it and all of a sudden an emergency happens and you really, really have to go. Tip number 10. Last but not least, make sure you get a good night's sleep the night before your road test. You want to be prepared both mentally and physically, so make sure you're well rested before your road test. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. If this video helped you pass your road test, please like and comment below. If you have any other helpful tips, also comment below. Please subscribe and good luck on your road test.